Welcome to today's episode of Design with Pam. Today we're going to be designing this page for a fashion website. It's not something very conventional, so I kind of put a twist to it. I'm going to tell you my thought process while we do this simple design. You can see that the major key items here for a fashion brand is here. Key images that can attract users and on this section where you have a brief description it talks about the branch which is an african brand then you also have the call to action here that says summer collection right you also have this test here that says watch this video and the play button here we can also add a bit of animation here just so people get the cue that this is a, a video icon but however the way people behave people are usually curious for something that looks a bit of abstract or different so don't worry they're going to click on this which can also lead maybe to a youtube page that describes or more about the brand so it's simple we're going to get right into it immediately my name is pamela and i'm sure you're going to get value i have a series of 30 ui designs that i'm creating you can subscribe to my channel because all of the screens or all of this ui designs can actually form a major part of your portfolio it's not compulsory that you put only the case study on your on your portfolio you can also put very unique ui screens and describe what you are trying to create on that screen for your portfolio without much ado without saying so much let's get right into it all right so the first thing i'm going to do is to select a frame i'm going to select click on this toolbar here and select the frame or just click f on my keyboard and select a frame so i'm going to select this desktop frame and i'm going to title my desktop as let's just say fashion brand so the color i'm going to be using for this i'm going to use the color picker so once my desktop is selected i'm going to go to this fill section here i'm going to click on it and select my color picker and i'm going to pick the color from the one i've already designed right okay so this is the color that i'm using 161616 so it's not purely black but it's black so the next thing is to bring in my icon you can import your icon your logo sorry from anywhere and i'm also going to put my layout grid because i like making use of layout grid it helps me like position things very well right so i've chucked in my my logo here let's just put it here give the space up there then the next thing i want to do is to bring in and uh, create this navigation section here so for this navigation section here we just have we simply have login slash register i'm going to click on t on my keyboard and i'm going to start typing login slash register so let's just use lato i'm going to use lato as the font and i'm going to keep it as 20 let's just increase it to like semi bold or bold is okay so i'm going to increase the test um letter spacing to like five so for the line height i'm going to leave it the way it is so the next thing is our we have the search search icon the like icon the shopping cart icon we're all going to get that from hero icons so the first one is the search icon right so we bring this here i'm going to change the color to white so i don't misplace that then we have the love icon okay and i'm still going to change it to white so another rule when it comes to design or when it comes to designing is to make sure that the icons that you use are of the same class or the same family so you can see these two icons here they're not the same kind of icon this one has is filled like has this has a feel in it this one it just just has the bother thing going on right so imagine the way i chose this first search button i then went ahead to choose a different kind of icon that is not of the same class or the same style right it doesn't speak well of your design All right so the next icon is to choose a shopping cart shopping cart here you can see i'm still using the same kind of icon the same style of icon 
so what i'm going to do is i don't like working with the frame that comes with the vector here so i'm going to go here and select just the vector i'm going to bring it out delete the frame i'm also going to go out select only the vector and delete the frame select just the vector you can check here on this your left hand side this layers panel you can see all of your properties there and i'm going to delete it so i'm going to try to select all of it and click on auto layout sorry i didn't position that well all right so i'm just going to arrange it then but before i i arrange it i'm also going to add this thing here so this thing that we have here going on is more like a cue that to tell the user that you don't have anything in your card please add something to your card right and we also have telling you that oh maybe you've not spent any amount right you've not spent any amount on your on this website it's more like showing you or prompting you to please put some amount so for that thing going on here where we show you where we show users that they don't have anything in their cart i'm going to click on o and then um, activate this tool here i'm going to hold on to shift and then click and then drag rather then i'm going to click on t and then i'm going to type zero but I'm going to reduce the font to 12. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go and pick the color that we used there. So I'm going to pick just same way I did my color picker. And I'm still going to change this test here to zero to white. Sorry. Let's just reduce it a bit. So I'm going to select the both of them and then group it. All right, so I think it's positioned well. Then I'm going to add it here. Then I'm going to select the shopping cart icon too. And I'm going to group the both of them. Then I'm going to select the shopping cart. Select this um, love like icon. Select the search icon. And then create an auto layout by clicking on shift A. So the spacing I'm going to use now. I'm also going to select all of this. I'm going to give it a spacing of 32. I need it to be spaced out. Then I'm also going to select this this icons here then select this test here and then add an auto layout let me give the space in between those two as no i think i like my 72 All right there's another thing that is missing here the test the amount thing that we have going on we added it here i'm also going to select it just give it then i'm going to select this logo here added an auto layout for this frame too to add the both of them together the next thing we're going to do now is to create this test that we have here i'm going to click on t on my keyboard and i'm going to type robota slugs robota sorry just going to type robota so the font i'm using here is metri metri and i'm using as much as one once let's see what we can use let's use this one All right, so let's increase the the letter spacing here. Just going to keep it here. Then I'm going to duplicate this by selecting my option key clicking on my option key and then dragging it out then i'll type blocks i'm going to reduce this here all right so i'm also not i don't need this to be highlighted this i'm going to remove it 
all right so i'm going to what we have going on here is just watch this video so i'm going to type i'm going to click on t on my keyboard and type watch this video but i'm changing this font i'm going to reduce the font to 20 to leave it as bold then i'm going to right click and go to plugins then i'm going to look for arc one of my saved plugins i have it somewhere here arc bend your type So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the bend strength here. I think this will do it. Oh, my trial has ended. <laughs> All right, so you can use bend your towel. I, I didn't know it wasn't free, but you can try it out. You can find other ones on on Figma. You can try to explore other ones that are free but for now i'm going to bring this here i'm going to bring this here so how i created this one was just clicking on o on my keyboard holding on to my shift button once i have this this i went to the hero icons and i added this and that's that's for that the next thing i'm going to do right now is to add a I think we didn't make this i was wondering why it ours looked different i use caps for all of it so i'm going to just remove all the caps and then just make the first letter to be cap so why this is happening is because i think i selected automatically let everything be cap and must have done that so just come to this type settings here click on it this is where you have the case here so you can see the upper case here is highlighted so i'm going to just de-highlight that and it's going to be fine so the next thing is to create these shapes that you have here by creating this shape i'm just going to click on r on my keyboard to activate the rectangle tool and i'm going to drag a shape so the size that i'm going to use for this one is i'm going to make sure the width is 272 is okay and then for the height i'm going to be using 358 so the only thing i did was just to so when you move close to this object here this this rectangle when you come close to it and put your mouse hover your mouse around then automatically when you're close to the edge the mouse it turns to this like it turns sideways just so you know you can bend it so i'm going to once it deals like that, i'm going to tilt it for a bit okay i'm going to push this somewhere here I'm going to make sure this is on this grid line then this one i'm going to make sure it's on this grid line I'm going to create an auto layout for this one and just leave it at 64. So for this two, let's I'm I selected it and selected the second one. The spacing is I should I'm going to leave the spacing to be 64, which is okay. So I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to create another rectangle. I'm going to create a shape. This time around, I'm going to give it a width of 272, same width. Let's use same width. And the height, um, let's use a 480, 482. All right. So I want this first one to go to the back of that one. So I'm going to click, drag it up, drag the first one up from this layers panel. And yeah, there you have it. So you can just find images from here from go to your plugin and then go to you can go to pixels let's just find any random image and input it there 
but remember when you're fine when you're making use of an image make sure that you use image that speaks to what you're doing make sure the image is sharp is clear image can make or mar your designs trust me you might have a very beautiful design but because you did not choose the right image your image is not portraying anything then it's going to be very very bad okay so i'm just using a random image here right i'm also going to tilt this a bit just so you see our design right let's move it up, up a bit okay so the next things are all the tests here um you can create the test here and send it to me on instagram my name is pamela the designer on instagram this is me let me show you this is me on instagram my name pamela the designer you can send me your designs i can just review it for you so this is what i wrote here just complete it on your own and let me know what you come up with all right so if you found this video helpful too please subscribe to my youtube channel it's going to encourage me to keep doing what i'm doing i have other design tutorials that you can watch and learn your or upskill your ui design skills all right so thank you for tuning in today see you on the next episode of design with pam